art industry has been flooded, I'd encourage anyone not to look at it that, from that perspective. Let me tell you one thing about we artists. Even before I started doing this piece, in my mind I, I have already finished it. There's nobody who will come to you and tell you that you have to do something. So you do what you feel like. Today if I feel like producing a, a buffalo, yeah that's what I do. Hi, I'm Peter Abduo Njuguna, and I'm a string artist from ASAS Kenya. Uh, growing up, uh, I grew up in a family of three, uh, two brothers, one sister. And growing up, we used to go in the field, playing with other kids, uh, just being creative, uh, creating things, you know. My academic life I started uh, in primary. I went to Cheneta Primary School. It is located in Runda State. Then uh, later right on, I joined a secondary school in Kiambu town. And uh, I later on, uh, after high school, I went to a college for a short course. And then after uh, college, I found myself doing art. Uh, actually, string art we started back in uh, 2018, October. And uh, how I came to Nana, I didn't go to school to Nana about string art. I was taught by a friend. And then uh, nowadays we have internet, so after being taught, you go watching tutorials on how to do things and uh, yeah, and trying out things without fearing whether to knock out. You try it and you try uh, watching tutorials and learning via YouTube, and that's how I learn about string art. Actually, way back then, uh, back in 2018, when we started string art, uh, we didn't immediately start it as a business. Uh, it was just uh, doing it uh, for creative, doing something that you like and trying to create new things, trying to do new ideas. And then, actually my first piece which I did, I, I, didn't, I didn't send it. Yes. <laughs> because I, I nearly loved it. I loved the way that piece was. So back then we, we didn't have a workshop. So we used to make them inside the house. Then later on in the evening, we go out in the street and display our work. Okay, we used to go in the street, display our work, and uh, the, our clients are usually our pass by, the, the people who are in the street out there, market, and any shopping, they used to come by, and uh, even if someone is not buying there, but at least someone is telling you, hey, you are doing a great work. That's nearly motivated me. It's, it was not all about money. It was all about the the reception, the how, how the people there in the street uh, view your work. Because some some some, uh, some people nearly came to us. Uh, someone is not buying, but he's coming to appreciate what you're doing and to encourage you to tell you you are doing a great work. Yes. Uh, some of the challenges, actually the main challenge is when it comes to material. Because uh, a lot of material that we use here, they are imported. Many of material we use like the string, they are not knock-any made. Uh, many strings are imported from China. So you see like in the past two years which we are undergoing the pandemic, it was quite difficult to get in this material. And if you get them, they were, they were very expensive because of the shipment, uh, you know. And the, even the boards which you use, some are not uh, not going to made. Another challenge uh, is uh, when it comes to market, uh, because not everybody appreciates art. Uh, not everybody appreciates what you're doing, on, and not everybody can give it the same price, the value that you give it. So when it comes to marketing, uh, it's quite uh, another challenge. And uh, getting the... The, the targeted audience, it's also another challenge. Because sometimes you can do a piece, it's nearly a nice piece according to you, it's a piece that you, you even feel like you can hold it and uh, just keep it for yourself. And then uh, another person, maybe he, he doesn't see the value or he doesn't value that piece the way you are valuing it. So it's quite a challenge. Because when it comes to art, sometimes you can do a piece, an art piece, that's nearly exciting you. So you get attached to that piece. So even uh, the, the kind of pricing that you give it, you find that other people do not value it the same as you. I did, I did the next engineering, 
uh, craft certificate and I practiced it for one year or so. Then I, because the, 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 the hustle, when it comes to that hustle, it was not in the uh, So I decided, let me go to entrepreneurship. Let me try and create a, a job for myself. Let me try and employ myself. I find something that I can do and then try to be your own boss. Uh, try to do your own thing, your own business, where you don't rely on anybody. And, and the work is, uh, it's guaranteed because it's you who have employed yourself. Other than uh, working for someone else where the job is not guaranteed and anything can happen. Like uh, I used to go and work in construction site. You know, you are an electrician, so you can work there for, let's say, like a month. Then the next month you are told that Kazimisha. The, the work is sustaining. I can't complain about that. And because each and every single day we, we try to create new things. So it's not like a, a one product business where we send this product from one, well, the beginning of the year to the end of the year. So each and every day we are creating new things, which, uh, which makes sure that each and every day we have new clients. We found that even the, maybe your former client who have bought from you, he can pass by and see another new thing and uh, he buys. Our biggest client are people with families, <laughs> not, mostly not young people. Uh, there are people who are working, working class. There are middle-aged people, let's say from 35 uh, age and, 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 uh, and up. Uh, because those are people who, who own homes, people who have uh, family, people who have rooms to hang this one, many arts. And uh, of course we have uh, also young people who are, who are working and who are excited about hanging out. Because uh, right now we are past the, the age where we used to hang calendars and uh, the, the, the pictures like of Jesus and mothers on our house. Nowadays people hang art on their wall. And people are starting to appreciate art, more and more people. Hey, my excitement is when I, I do a piece and uh, at the end of the day, when I finish it, I look at it and uh, it looks wonderful. Like sometimes you can start doing a piece then in the middle, you're like, well, I don't think this piece will appear the way I'm seeing it in my mind. Because uh, let me tell you one thing about we artists. Even before I started doing this piece, in my mind, I, I have already finished it. I can see it the way it will appear, even before it is done. So the ex excitement, it is when you bring it to reality. When you, you are done with that piece and uh, you, you press it somewhere, look at it, and uh, it is awesome. <laughs> you feel excited. Yeah, even, even before the money comes in, you're already excited. It's quite uh, nearly hard to know what the client wants. Because uh, my preference, when it comes to art, my preference is not the same as you. There are those people who prefer nature because art is made up of many, many, many themes, you know. So one of the mistakes that you can make is not uh, doing your field research and uh, trying to find out what do people need in like, uh, do many people like nature? Do many people like uh, wild drive when it comes to art? And uh, that's quite a, a challenge. You are supposed to do a field research and know exactly what people need in like. Uh, as a business, satisfaction comes when you, when you have seen the work that you have done with your hand. Especially when, uh, when you have completed, like right now this piece, I'm already completing it. So the satisfaction is, when you're done with that piece and you look at it, then someone else come and look at it and smile and tell you it is awesome. Yeah. Then it's been so satisfying. Hello, my name is Morris. I am from S Arts Kenya and I'm an artist. I grew up in Karura, uh, a village called Huruma. I really love painting. I love playing with paint. It's just magical how you can just mix few colors and get something which is absolutely mind-blowing. So yeah, this is what I love doing. Uh, me and my friend and my co-worker Peter, we, we grew up in the same village and uh, we have the same uh, passion on, 
uh, on arts. So yeah, we, we just thought that it would be an amazing idea that we try and work together. Because in this field, it's, it's really amazing when you, you have someone with you whom you share the same goals and you have the same passion. So, you know, you wake up in the morning and uh, when you come to work, you feel motivated when you see your friend is also uh, being creative. I studied art back in high school. That was in a while back. And uh, I, um, after high school, I didn't go to college since I really, uh, I really wanted to pursue what I want in life. So yeah, and uh, I chose to go for painting. Um, in this country, business for young people has been um, tough and very challenging, especially due to COVID-19. COVID we all know that it's been, uh, it's been tough, but uh, we really thank God because uh, we are pushing and it's working awesome, yes. Yeah. How much do you sell your pieces? Uh, my pieces range from as low as 500 uh, to a maximum of like 20, 30, even 50, depending on the content and the, and the work that you, you want to be done on, uh, on a canvas. Uh, what I have learned is to never give up. Uh, with my friend Peter, he normally tells me that even when business is low, he keeps telling me as long as you're doing something, just know that uh, it will come to work for you in the near future. Yeah, so you don't give up, keep doing what you're doing, keep hustling, and uh, if you, as long as you're passionate about it, it's something that you love waking up in the morning and doing every day, uh, yeah, keep doing it. And my artworks has gone from, uh, <laughs> from local market to international, depending, it's just that uh, people buy from me, then they go sell it on, uh, they, they, they are like brokers, you know. They come by and they go deal with customers one on one. So I can't tell you to what extent my work has gone, but then, yeah, we do sell. We do even package for our customers. Well, the ones who link us with those, with those customers. Yeah, to abroad, to UK, everywhere. Uh, we've been facing challenges. Well, for instance, it's in marketing area. We have to come sit down and uh, and decide on how to go forth for it. For, for example, in online marketing, you have to raise some money. We do that together. We raise some money together, and then we put it on Instagram, on Facebook, and we market our stuff there. So there are challenging uh, times when you don't have money, and you know you need to get customers, and uh, you don't have that money to go market yourself. Uh, what gives me joy it's knowing that I wake up every morning and I'm doing what I love doing and you don't have to be, there's nobody, uh, there's nobody who will come to you and tell you that you have to do something. So you do what you feel like. So in my production, I produce what I feel like. Today, if I feel like producing a, a buffalo, yeah, that's what I do. So it's amazing and I love it. You know, in life, we... <laughs> You, ha you need to do something that keeps you, it's like a sport, right? For those who play, uh, for example, the Messi, Ronaldo, they are doing what they love doing. So it's amazing when you do something that, uh, that bubbles from inside you. Something funny, we didn't have money. One of our friends promoted us. We used to do this thing in, uh, in our houses where you, you rent a small room for uh, say 2,000, 5,000, you know. Then one of our friends came and saw that we were doing some amazing jobs. So he bought one for us and he asked us, how much do you want me to buy this from you? So um, we told him that it would be best if he bought us materials to make more. And from that, he went, he searched for market out there. He connected us and from reference from one place to the other, yeah to, you know, marketing in the streets. Hey, it's been a journey, but uh, we are thanking God and we are still moving forward. Art industry has been flooded. I'd encourage anyone not to look at it that, from that perspective. As long as you're doing something, art is unique and everyone has their touch to it. If you come here and paint the same piece, it's going to be different and someone will wow at your job. So, uh, regardless, you know, there's so much to do in this industry and we have so few 
who are in it. So yeah, anybody and everybody who feels that it's their calling, it's their passion, jump, jump and go for it and uh, it will work, it will succeed. As long as you're doing it from your heart, it pays. One of the things why we keep doing it, it's uh, because of the support that we are getting from our friends. It really gives us, it, it gives us, we, we really take heart when people are amazed at what we are doing. Re leave alone just coming and promoting, just appreciating it. Like when you see it, you, you just tell us that it's amazing. We really love that. That is what keeps us going, not the money. Because sometimes you'll go for a week with no sale. Uh, but then you, in that one week, you get like 10, 20 people who are appreciating your work. That's amazing. Our inspirations come from uh, sometimes online, sometimes from day-to-day uh, -day activities. For instance, I can see you're eating some sugar cane. I'll take that, capture it, and then paint it. That's how we work. You can paint anything at any time, as long as it, 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 it inspires you and it makes you feel like you need to do this. That happens sometimes. Yeah, it's a challenge uh, when you, you have a client who has bought a piece from you and they, they appreciate the first one. Then the next one, they want you to do something that is custom. And they, at times, they don't have the exact idea of what they want. So uh, since you are familiar with the customer, you don't ask for deposit or anything, so you just go for it and you know that you're going to deliver. Then they are disappointed because they have their expectation and uh, you know you don't know what they really want. You're trying to, to capture what they want from what they are telling you. So at times you find yourself that you've done a piece and your customer is not for it and they don't want it and they don't like it and they had not committed to it. As business partners and as business persons, we have to agree to disagree at some point. And, uh, but what keeps us going is seeing each other's, each other's success in their work. You know, I have to appreciate what he does. He does appreciate what I do. And we see our success in each other's uh, pieces. For instance, when he does something and it's amazing, I'm very proud of it because we are a single group, uh, we are a single business. So um, I have to appreciate what he does. He does appreciate what I do, and this keeps us going. And we keep challenging each other. For instance, today I've done this, maybe it's a buffalo, and he, he tells me that today, uh, tomorrow I'll make a buffalo made of strings. And when he, he surprises me, it, it's really amazing. It keeps us challenging each other and that keeps our uh, business growing.